Hi guys and gals, this is Miss Olson, and I thought on the choice board this week I would put a book or two about the Super Bowl. Um, this is virtual day when I'm recording, so we don't know the outcome of the big game yet. You will know that by Monday morning, um, but I thought I would go ahead and give you some information and history behind the game. So I went to Epic and I found this Torque Sports Championship series that had a title called The Super Bowl. It was written by Alan Morey, and this book um, was published in 2019. So it's not completely up-to-date information, but a lot of it is history, so it will still apply. Let's jump in and find out about the big game. Super Bowl 52. It is Super Bowl 52. The Philadelphia Eagles lead the New England Patriots 38-33. Patriots quarterback Tom Brady hopes to lead his team to score the winning touchdown. But on a passing play, Eagles defensive lineman Brandon Graham knocks the ball out of his hands. Fumble. The Eagles get the ball and they go on to win their first Super Bowl 41-33. Here it says Tom Brady. Ah, oh, there goes the ball. Brandon Graham. Five and five. The Patriots have been to the Super Bowl a record ten times. They have five wins and five losses. And of course, this is um, the copyrights 2019. This is called an inset, and these are labels in a nonfiction book. Those help you with extra facts. So what is the Super Bowl? The Super Bowl is the championship game for the National Football League, or NFL. It is played at the end of every football season. The game takes place on the first Sunday in February. It is one of the coldest months of the year. Teams often play in stadiums with roofs. Players and fans are protected from the winter weather. And in this little inset box, there's a cool fact. It says the bold north. Super Bowl 52 was the coldest Super Bowl ever. The temperature at kickoff was only 2 degrees Fahrenheit, which is negative 17 degrees Celsius. So in our school, just to give you a frame of reference, if it is between 35 and 38 degrees we have to start worrying about whether you guys can go outside or not. 32 degrees is freezing, and this was 30 degrees below that. It was a cold day, guys. The Vince Lombardi Trophy is awarded to the winner of the Super Bowl. Lombardi was the coach who led the Green Bay Packers from 1959 to 1967. This is a picture of him. That is his name. Lombardi coached the Packers to win Super Bowls I and II. In 1970, the NFL made the trophy to honor him. And if any of you are Packers fans, the stadium there in Green Bay is also named for Vince Lombardi. History of the Super Bowl. Beginning in 1960, there were two football leagues. There was the NFL and the American Football League, AFL. The NFL had 13 teams and the AFL had eight. The leagues were rivals. They fought over fans and players. They argued over which league played better football. Many team owners thought it just cost way too much to have two different leagues. So the two became one. The NFL and AFL became one league in 1970. So Miss Olson was a kindergartner when this was happening. There were 26 teams at this time. Soon, NFL and AFL owners came to an agreement. The winner of each league would play in a championship game. The first Super Bowl was played on January 15, 1967. So here again, to give you a frame of reference, 
Miss Olson was three years old at this time. It was a long time ago. The NFL's Green Bay Packers beat the AFL's Kansas City Chiefs 35 to 10 in that first game. Then this inset is giving you some more information about different bowl games that the Pittsburgh Steelers have played in and won. Super Bowl 8, 10, 13, 14, 30, 40, 43, and 45. And then it tells the scores, who they beat, and the score of the losing team. It says National Football League MVP. The MVP stands for Most Valuable Player. Quarterback Terry Bradshaw, who's pictured right here, helped the Pittsburgh Steelers win four Super Bowls. He was awarded the Most Valuable Player twice. This chapter is called Road to the Super Bowl. Today, the NFL is divided into two conferences. There is the NFC and the AFC. Each has four divisions of four teams. Teams play 16 games during a season. Each conference has six teams that go to the playoffs. These include the four division winners and two wild card teams. Wild cards go to the teams with the next best records after the division winners. The wild card games are the first round of the playoffs. The two top ranked teams receive a bye. The bottom four teams play. Remaining teams play in the divisional, divisional round of the playoffs. Home field advantage. Teams are ranked by their seasonal records. Playoff games are played at the stadium of the team with the higher ranking. The winners of the divisional round then move on to the conference championship games. These games decide the two teams that will play in the Super Bowl. So if you ever wondered how they pick who gets to play in the Super Bowl, now you are an expert. All right, here's what a bracket looks like. Interesting, you might come back later and look at that. Commercial breaks is the name of this chapter. Getting together for the Super Bowl is popular among friends and family, but there is more to watch than just the game. Super Bowl halftime shows feature popular musical performances. This says smashing hit. In 1984, Apple Computer had the first hit Super Bowl ad. In it, a woman threw a sledgehammer into a huge TV screen. Hmm, I bet we could find that on YouTube somewhere and watch it. Companies also create their best and funniest ads to air during the big game. Commercials are one of the many reasons fans tune in to watch the Super Bowl. And this year already, Mrs. Olson has heard people talking about a really funny ad that miracle Grow Gardening um, Solution is putting out. All right, this is a glossary. It's going to give you information about different words that were talked about in the book and what they mean. Then this has um, some other books that you can look for to read. I believe some of these are on Epic, so you could read those for free. This tells a little bit more about where you would go on the web to find out more facts. You go to www.factsurfer.com and then you type Super Bowl into the search box and click the word surf. And it will give you some other sites that are safe for kids to read and research. All right, that is the end of the book. Look at all of these cool, cool books that Epic has. And for you guys that are so interested in sports and girls too, Miss Olson loves sports also. But you can find out about the World Cup, the World Series, the Final Four, the NBA Finals, the Stanley Cup. 
And I noticed when I was looking for this lesson, um, there's also a biography about Patrick Mahomes, and there's a biography about um, Tom Brady. So if you're interested in reading about either one of those young men's lives, young men to Miss Olson, um, <laughs> grown-ups' lives, you can check out their biography and find out even more. Okay, it's telling me to click finish the book. So I will leave you here and hope you enjoyed that little history lesson about the Super Bowl. See ya.